We don't talk much about crime on this programme, but there were two high-profile verdicts handed down in our metro this week, nearly five years after the downtown Hereford House is torched to the ground. Business leader Rod Anderson is sentenced to 15 years in prison for conspiring with two co-defendants to burn down the landmark restaurant for the insurance mendicy. Anderson was a part owner in the more than 50-year-old eatery at 20th and Main. In another closely watched case, a Roman Catholic priest from the Kansas City area who admitted taking pornographic photos of children in a story that captured national attention in 2011 is sentenced to 50 years in prison. Sean Radigan complained before a packed courtroom the sentence was too long. Prison is hell, he told the judge, and I know I deserve 15 years, but 50 years? Come on. I don't think so. Now, Bill Grady, you were there. Are there any broader implications to this sentencing this week? There were broader implications, especially in the Radigan case. He had a number of people speak in his behalf, but he also had parents that showed up in, in the courtroom yesterday. And it was really uh, emotionally gut-wrenching for these folks. And the reality is there are so many pictures on Sean Radigan's computer, I think that the prosecutors felt like, we can get him on this, but there may be other things. And the civil cases against him and the diocese are going to continue. Now, as far as the Hereford House thing goes, two of the guys say, that wasn't us on the videotape. Wasn't us. Anderson admitted culpability, but there is a fourth unindicted co-conspirator, and so that, too, is going to move forward. And, in fact, the supporters of Rod Anderson in the Hereford House case are saying, we're going to continue to right. investigate the story because we think, we think there's somebody else out there. He had a huge stack of letters from people talking about all the charitable work that he did, and Tammy Dickinson said he may be a great guy. He shouldn't have done this because the fire could have been a whole lot worse the way it was set. It could have created flash fires and killed a lot of folks. Broader implications in the Radican case, Mary? Absolutely. Um, just to, almost in the symbolism of it, but then also what has happened within the diocese since this. I mean, Sean Radigan was the first priest to be convicted in a criminal court in quite a while. There have been other ones in the past, but it's ancient history to most people's memories. His case showed people that, yes, these cases can go forward and be criminally prosecuted. It also unfortunately showed the diocese once again standing in the way, at least early on, I mean, to get these convictions. Thankfully, some things have changed, other things are in place now that I think a lot of parishioners can feel good about. So there's, it's very sad, um, but in some ways, it was a bit of a new day to see him standing there in chains in federal court. But as uh, Bill just pointed out, though, the still civil cases Absolutely. continue in that case, so we haven't heard the end of this. Oh, in that case and many others that are still going forward. When um, there was just a $600,000 settlement with respect to one of the victims in the Radigan case at the diocese, and the interesting thing to point out here, you, you stop and you think, wow, that's a big financial hit for the church to take, but in reality, it's their insurance provider that covers it. So you have to stop and think, eventually, does the church's premiums go up to, and just skyrocket beyond a level that they can afford, or do they lose that type of liability? And at what point do we as Catholics in this community stop and hold the leadership responsible? We should have done it morally a long time ago, but sometimes people only do that type of thing when the finances come in, and maybe the broader impact is as these civil lawsuits go, eventually maybe it's going to make the church get rid of this leadership. And finally, Dave, implications? on these cases? Well, I, I don't know on the Rod Anderson. I think the implication there is don't burn down your business when you get in trouble. But um, in the Sean Radigan case, I do think the message may be reaching a critical mass, not only here but across the country in the Catholic Church, that the church is not a refuge for people who want to abuse children, as many people might have thought it was. And the, the, in that sense, 50 years is what it should be, a deterrent, a deterrent to other priests, or to other child molesters in and out of the church that if you're caught and convicted, you're going to do some serious, serious time. And let's hope that message got through. 